Hello friends, today we will discuss a special problem of continuous beam subjected to point load at D and point load at E. Okay, so in this problem we will find collapse load. We will find collapse load by using static method and kinematic method both. static method which is also called lower bound theorem which is also called lower bound theorem and in this theorem firstly we should know minimum number of plastic hinge required for complete collapse of this structure so formula is ds plus 1 ds is degree of static indeterminacy and in this problem degree of static indeterminacy is 1 so 1 plus 1 2 number of plastic hinges minimum number of plastic hinge required for complete collapse of this structure is 2 and this two plastic hinge is developed either point b and d or point b and e okay Three plastic hinge develop D, B, E. So this is a greater than two. So this is also a case of over complete collapse. But if two plastic hinges develop, then structure is all structure will collapse before developing third plastic hinge in this case. Okay. So by considering separately for span A, B for span AB if plastic hinge is developed at point B if plastic hinge is developed at point B then then the beam we have like a simply supported abhi ye kaun sa support hai aapka fixed support hai like a fixed support और यदि यहां प्लास्टिक हिंज डेवलप हो गई मतलब ये सपोर्ट आपका क्या बन गया सिंपली सपोर्ट और यदि बीम में इस बीम में यदि आपको ये सिंपली सपोर्ट बन गया तो इसका मतलब क्या हो गया कि जो आपका बेंडिंग मोमेंट डायग्राम होगा वो इस तरीके से बनेगा डब्ल्यू एल बाय 4 सो दिस इज द बेंडिंग मोमेंट डायग्राम इफ वी कंसीडर दिस स्पान इज सिंपली सपोर्टेड एंड इफ ड्यू टू द प्लास्टिक हिंज डेवलप्ड एट पॉइंट बी due to the plastic hinge is developed at point B the plastic moment the plastic moment developed at point B so due to this plastic moment the hogging bending moment is occurring and this value is MP so this is MP if this is MP, then we this is negative, this is positive. So we overlap this diagram. So after overlapping, this diagram will form. This diagram will form. So this is MP. So this is for length L, this is MP, so this is MP by for length L by 2 this is MP by 2 which I already discussed in earlier problem this MP this is MP by 2 and this is dekhi. in this case plastic hinge developed at point D also so due to the plastic hinge developed at point D the plastic moment is also developed at point D so this is MP this is MP by 2 then total WL by 4 total value of this ordinate is WL by 4 so 3 by 2 MP is equal to WL by 4 so W is equal to 6 MP by L so this is the collapse load for this structure okay same same solution for span BC also same no change so the answer is 
डब्ल्यू सी इज इक्वल टू सिक्स एम पी बाय एल फॉर दिस स्ट्रक्चर ओके सो इन कैनोमेटिक मैथड फर्स्टली वी शुड नो मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ प्लास्टिक हिंज फॉर कंप्लीट को लैप्स ऑफ दिस स्ट्रक्चर सो वैल्यू इज टू डी एस दिस इज कैनोमेटिक मैथड and this is also called upper bound theorem and this is ds plus 1 1 plus 1 2 2 two number of plastic hinge is developed at point b and d r b and e so this is the this is the this type of mechanism will come and this so this is theta this is theta this is theta this is theta so no plastic hinge will develop at point a so plastic hinge is developed at point d plastic moment will come and plastic hinge is developed at point b plastic moment will come at point b and this so principle of virtual work principle of virtual work external work done is equal to internal work done the external work done is w into delta is equal to internal work done is mp theta plus theta this is at point d plus mp theta at point b so w into delta angle is equal to arc upon radius so delta is equal to kya ho jayega l by 2 into theta तो पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ डेल्टा इन दिस प्लेस तो दिस इज एल बाई टू इंटू थीटा इज इक्वल टू थ्री एम पी थीटा ओके तो थीटा थीटा कैंसल हो गया आपका डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू सिक्स एम पी बाय एल सो दिस इज अ कोलैप्स लोड बाय यूजिंग काइनामेटिक मेथड because for span if you consider span bc the same procedure will follow and same result will come okay so this is the answer because the structure is symmetric so collapse load for this structure is 6 mp by l okay so hopefully aapko static method aur kinematic method dono samajh mein aayi hogi yadi aapko koi doubt hai to aap comment section mein zarur puchiye dhanyawad